first part of today's hike takes us from Mori Hut at 13,651 feet up to Lava Tower at 15,190 for lunch. This is all part of the acclimatization process. Climb high, sleep low. We figured by the time we made Lava Tower for lunch, we got her beat, all downhill from here. Wow, were we wrong. Even though we are climbing in the dry season, it rained throughout the night. By morning, we departed with light drizzle falling that turned to rain, that turned to wind and snow pellets as we climbed. We're at uh, 14,548 feet. And uh, so we have uh, another, I don't know, 700 or so. Somewhere just shy of 15,000 feet, and we're looking at uh, Lava Tower, and uh, that's where we're heading for lunch. I'll zoom in and show you a few people on the trail there. The second part of our ascent to Lava Tower was breathtaking. This is one of the most visually stunning portions of our Kilimanjaro climb. Yeah. We're up there. It was uh, lots of rain in the beginning and then uh, and holy this holy. snow pellets. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm working it. Yeah. Headache? Just a one between one and ten. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now too. Is a, so this is Lava Tower. Yeah. This is our lunch tent. And this is our lunch. They left after us, got up here before us, set up a tent. Unbelievable. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. And uh, we're above 15,000 now. And I am, uh, I just heard that our, our trip down yeah. isn't all down. It goes into a valley, then up on, so we got some up ahead of us yet, but. The last hour was sort of in the sun ish, right? Yeah, it was warm. I've been, uh, it was uh, extremely pulley pulley today, which is good. And uh, I've been. Yeah, uh, guys. Uh, How's it hiking? Jumbo. Very yeah. good. <laughs> Sante Sana. Good job. And um, I've been deep breathing all day today. Yeah. Uh, and that's been helping. You actually, if you don't, you get dizzy. Yeah. You, you got to breathe. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Be a spectacular hike. I mean, the, the trail between. Mora Hut and Lava Tower is my favorite yet. And yesterday was spectacular, but this was better. So, we're going to have some lunch. One of the porters fell in that rock canyon. Oh shit, really? Yeah. I wanted to get video there, and I, I couldn't get the camera out. We went through a rock canyon that... Yeah. Gosh, that's horrible. Bob saw it happen. Not good. Oh dear. Yeah. Did you get any pictures of that canyon? Because I didn't. Priority of duties. Yeah, no, exactly. Okay, Bob's going to give us the priority of duties. <laughs> A, stay alive. B, breathe. C, I don't know, breathe. <laughs> uh, D, stay warm. I couldn't even get up my camera. There's so many layers. Dress some layers. E. 
Yeah. Food. Oh, drink, 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 drink. Drink, drink. Yeah. It never ceased to amaze us the work the porters and the cooks do in the background. You leave each morning with all the tents still standing. And while you're hiking, the tents, chairs, tables, toilets, everything is packed up, loaded onto the backs of porters. The porters pass you on the trail at twice your speed, reach camp ahead of you, set up camp before you arrive, retrieve water, wherever that's coming from, and cook you a hot meal. It's unbelievable and very humbling. We're looking at the trail that we just uh, covered down towards uh, Mora Hut. And uh, this is maybe, what's, on, what's visible here might be uh, one-fifth of the trail, maybe? Maybe a one-sixth, something like that? I don't know exactly. I think it was about six and a half miles or something like that. This is a rest stop that we stopped on the way here. It's one of them. Oh. Tell you, it's uh, a little bit emotional. This is never seen anything like this in my life. I can't see. Uh, top of Kilimanjaro. But we're at 15,000, uh, I think 15,190 feet. And we're up here uh, acclimatizing and um, we just had lunch. We um, we're going to be uh, descending down into Baraka camp next. It's 2,000 feet below us. And uh, so we'll be, we'll be sleeping uh, for our second night uh, just above 13,000 feet. And um, then tomorrow morning is our second half of uh, the, 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 tomorrow morning is the beginning of our second half of this uh, hike, of this climb, uh, starting with Barocco Wall. And, uh, and then we get into, I think, uh, Karanga Camp. And, um, and the day after that, we're back up at 15,000 here. Rafu camp, I think, and then that's the night that you head for the summit um, at 11 o'clock. Okay, big smile, Bob. Say again? It's called the Johnson SU. Johnson SU? Johnson SU. And the characteristic, they have a triangle inside which keep water. During the dry season, it's still a survival according to the storage of the water which keep it. So they work like a cactus? Yeah. <laughs> Talk louder. Okay. We uh, made it to Morocco camp. 
that's it. Got a riverbed. Oh. I don't think that was harder than day two. It was longer. Yeah, I think because of the intermediate camp. It's definitely harder going down downhill so on a riverbed. We just did 2,000 feet descent from uh, Lava Tower to Morocco Camp. And uh, I'm not at all interested in doing a 9,000 foot descent on Summit Day, if it's like that. Yeah, go talk to the guides. To oh. see it. I don't remember. It's like a talus. It's like sand. Like I am hurting everywhere. Pick yeah. a spot. Yeah, no, it's and the birds up here are the size of um, a monkey. There's birds at fifteen thousand feet. Go figure, eh? So I think we're at thirteen two. We started today at 13.6 and went up to 15.2, Lava Tower, and then now we're at 13.2. So um, Bob and I were the last ones to finish today. Just exhausted. Yeah. Just need some liquid. So tomorrow is Brocco Wall, then into, I think it's Shara or Shura Camp or something. And I'm tired, so I'm going to stop talking. So this is Baraka Wall. I don't know, I look at it and it looks absolutely... <laughs> unsurpassable. Uh, the guides are telling us tomorrow morning that we are going to be starting down by this rock. And then it... Oh, you can see some people there. That's a uh, porter. Anyway, he goes up that wall and... Our guide is telling us it's going to take us only two hours to climb this. I'm not sure what he's smoking. Well, I'll leave that till tomorrow. Oh boy. Uh, we're back in the tent. Um, oh, I was in the uh, mess hall having, uh, uh, or I was going to have a cup of tea with uh, Sheb, and uh, Bob was sleeping in the tent, and I got nailed uh, from behind with the wind, uh, and the uh, tent slammed me into the table and uh, uh, knocked the table over. Um, and uh, I don't know where the storm came from, but it's uh, it's here. And so uh, we're back in our tent, and there's just people all over the place outside trying to keep the mess mess hall in place so uh, welcome to kill 60 mile hour winds I don't know how strong Bob I don't know uh, it just and it was snow and wind and it was just instant I like it wasn't clear before but it was just brutal holy god <laughs> 